Today is pickup day for the Yeezy 350 Beluga Reflex. And it's also pickup day for the Jordan 1 High Handcrafts. I think Sneakers was calling them Just Crafts, but they are called Handcrafts. And uh, today we are picking them up, you guys. So I didn't put in for the Handcrafts on Sneakers because I already had two locked down and the resale is not the greatest. I am gonna pick up a size 11 and a size 12 in this video. We're gonna go to finish line and then another finish line and then guys i had a hard time hitting on these 350 reflex and i wanted a personal for myself and a personal for the wifey but uh i didn't get that many you guys i really didn't get that many it's crazy too like i'm still i was still waiting on one um on the confirmed app because uh the other accounts that i have were no no i'm waiting on one but i it's not it's not looking promising so we are about to get into it. We're about to pick them up. I also wanted to mention you guys at the sneakers app. So we had the LeBron 19 uniform hook, I think they're called. Anyways, the ones that LeBron actually wore in Space Jam 2. You guys, I wanted them. I really did want them. And I'm a size 11, but in LeBron's, I'm a size 11 and a half. And then LeBron's like, they kind of like fit weird. And there's like, I'm an 11 and a half, but there's like open space on the side. They're kind of, I, I think they're just kind of like weird shaped in. But anyways, I'm an 11 and a half in LeBron's. You guys, when the sneakers app popped up and I was like going to the sizes, they had no 11s and no 11 and a half. So I was like, I was already out. So I went for 12, size 12. But I think everybody that was going to go for 11 and 11 and a half also did the same thing that I did and went for size 12. So there's probably so many people putting in for that size 12. I did not take a dub. But you guys, that kind of like sucked. Like I really wanted those for retail and I don't know if they're going to be restocking soon. Hopefully they are. That way I could try to get my pair for the retail. So back on the handcrafts, you guys, I don't like the look of them in the pictures. Like I really don't. <laughs> um, I did I did get one of my size 11, right? Like I, I usually like getting size 11 and then putting it on ice, like putting it in the closet, just kind of forgetting about it. Hopefully it goes up. I want to see it in hand. I don't think it's going to change my mind just because like the pictures are the pictures and it just, that's how it looks. So I don't like it. I'm probably not keeping for the toe. I didn't put in for uh, the handcraft on sneakers app already. I think I might've mentioned that, but I already have two pairs. So I wasn't going to lock down another pair and they're not doing that great. So I'm cool with those two pairs. So I am doing that on finish line and I got an exclusive access. You guys, I did not get exclusive access for the Beluga 350s and I was like bummed out on both of my accounts and I was like, what is going on? So I don't understand it, but I guess they wasted the exclusive access on the one handcrafts versus the Yeezy. So I, I don't know why, but I'm also going to be picking up these handcrafts because I'm really going for the pan bread ones, you guys. I'm gonna go all out. If I gotta drive to LA, I'm from San Diego for the ones that don't know. So if I gotta drive to Los Angeles, I will drive to Los Angeles. I'm gonna try to pick up as many pairs as I can. But if it's anything like this 350 drop, it's not gonna be looking good for me. We'll see how many I'm able to pick up. There was rumors that it was getting pushed back. It's not, it is, it's not. So far, it's loaded up on Foot Locker, it's loaded up on East Bay, it's loaded up on Sneakers, that's like the main one. And it's looking like we're gonna be good to go as far as it dropping on the 30th. So, cross your fingers, hopefully it drops on time. If it does drop on time, you know, it's like, it could be the sneaker of the year, right? If it drops like, what, two days afterwards, it'll be the sneaker of the year, but of 2022. We'll see if it does release this year. And then, uh, so we're gonna head to the first mall. We have three malls to pick up today. And then we're gonna go in order from my house to like the furthest one. And the furthest one is pretty far. So we'll see what it's looking like. Hopefully there's no traffic today. We're able to hurry up, go pick up. We're also gonna be going to the other stores, seeing if there's anything I could build my points with. Because on one of my finish line accounts, it's like, my I don't have that many points so I kind of want to stack up some points that way you know if I hit like grade school men's and you know if I'm getting like back-to-back -back exclusive access for two different shoes I'll be ready to go and I'm not like missing out all right you guys so let's go to the first spot to pick up Guys, it is the holiday season, so I took a little bit to like find parking, but I finally found some parking. And I was gonna mention like 
I'm gonna be asking like these different stores if they even have stock in the, the patent bread ones, right? I'm gonna ask Finish Line, Champs, every, everywhere I go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be asking them. So we'll see what they say. Hopefully they say they have stock. That way I could kind of like confirm they're actually gonna be releasing that day. So I'll probably hit up Champs first and then uh, go around. So this mall has Champs, it has Finish Line, it has Kids Foot Locker, which doesn't have too much good stuff. It has regular Foot Locker. And then it also has Shoe Palace. So like, I'll probably hit up Shoe Palace just to see if they have the Yeezys, I doubt it, but I probably will check it out. You guys, I was surprised. They actually have Pine Green 3s in there and the Winterize 14s. Usually they have nothing in there or lately they've had nothing in there. I asked him about the 350s. He says they didn't even get them at the store. So that's probably why I didn't hit over here. And then uh, I started asking him about the pan bread ones and he was like, that's when he like stopped giving me information. He wasn't trying to give you no more information. And he's like, oh, I think they're coming out on the 30th. And so I was like, ah, okay. So let's go to the finish line. Let's pick up these handcrafts and then we'll go from there. pick up the handcrafts i'll probably check them out in the car where i have like some like a little bit of room and some space you guys they were being a little shysty with the information so i still don't know like the the, the girl that rang me up like she checked my name and my id like four times maybe like making sure it was me like she's ready to like call anybody out if they had any other name on their id but uh yeah so I'll check them out in hand. Like, I still haven't looked at them. Like, I'm going to take a good look at them. I'll give you guys my review. But uh, I'm going to keep looking to see if they got the 350s. Supposedly, they didn't even get the 350s here. I don't know if I want to believe that. And then I asked them about the pan bread ones. And then the dude was like, no, but I need those. I need those. I'm like, yeah, everybody needs those. Like, I just want to know if you guys got stock. So let's keep it rolling. You guys, Foot Locker didn't have anything. It was funny because like when I was in there, you guys, I thought they had the Jordan 4 Red Thunders, but it was like this other shoe. And I was like, don't you hate like when you go in there and you think like, oh, you came up. Like there's some like cool grays that I don't even know what model they are, but they look like the cool gray 11s kind of, if you're like squinting and you see it from a distance. But like, I thought it was, I thought I was like, oh, I came up, I, I got it early, but no, that is not the case. So uh, I thought that was pretty funny, but we're about to go to Shoe Palace just in case they got the Yeezys. I'm kind of a little bit late. Like if I were to really like wanted to come and get the Yeezys, I would have came like right when it opened. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that today, but uh, who knows? Maybe they might have something. If they don't have anything, we'll probably just keep it rolling. I'm not even gonna show you guys inside. All right, you guys, we picked up the handcrafts and man i was vibing out with my dude up in a shoe palace so another tip for you guys because like some of you guys are shy and don't want to like talk to the employees and all that stuff so i walked in there with my handcrafts because i had just picked them up and then uh i was talking to dude i was like hey did you guys get the 350 Yeezys?" and he just starts laughing he's like nah bro we didn't get them anyways like I, he was like oh what you got there i was like oh the handcrafts He's like, you mind if I check them out? I was like, yeah, let's check them out. So I took a little sneak peek, you guys. And like, we were checking them out. And like, you guys, I'm about to show you them. But they look way better in person, you guys. Way better. So let me uh, show you guys. First of all, the box. I like how they did their own special box, right? These are the size 12s. I'm about to go pick up the personal size 11. And like, you guys, the, the box is pretty sick. I like when they do like special boxes, right? Let me flip it around so you guys can see it i like when they do special boxes like these instead of just having the regular you know red and black you guys these are looking clean 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 right here you got the mocha vibes like straight up you guys look at it i mean travis scott slash mocha we got a little bit of dior action going on right here and you guys this is not like white it's like that cell color so i do like the cell color better than white when i looked at the pictures i just like assumed they were white and you guys we do have two extra laces right here we have black and white let me just make sure it's not cell you guys, they might actually be cell. The laces, they look a little bit off-white. So I think they're all that cell colorway. You guys, they're clean. I say like if they switched out this purple, I think they'd be a lot cleaner. Maybe made it the green. I don't know. But 
I do think, I do like them more in person, you guys. I, I do got to say, I do like them more in person. So now I might uh, actually hold on to my size 11 a little bit longer. They might be more profitable than I, than I actually uh, anticipated because like, Foot Locker, they weren't on the app, they weren't on East Bay, they weren't on any app except for Foot Action, at least for my area, and then Foot Action was a little ways away. I was gonna do the ship to me option, but you guys, I was like, you know what, I'm already picking up two. So Foot Action, I said no. And then um, another thing about ship to me option, so I think a lot of people caught on to it with the Jordan 11 uh, Cool Gray release, and then with this release, because you guys, I didn't get any on that, on that uh, second, restock i didn't get any jordan 11 on the ship to me i didn't even get the in store or the ship to me and then on the i was gonna call them the pollens the golden rod dunks my wife is the only one that hit so i didn't hit on my accounts not even shipped to me she was the only one that hit in person that's why i didn't upload the video because you know she only picked up that one and it was a size 10 and those are actually looking cleaner than i thought also in person so this ship to me option it's kind of getting tougher because more and more people are into it in the very beginning everybody was kind of new and they were like what is this and I, you know i took advantage of that <laughs> but but we'll see we'll see like uh if like Foot Locker starts doing more pairs to the ship to me versus having it like first come first serve on their website because you guys already know bots eat that all day okay so let's go to the other spot we'll pick up my other pair and then we're gonna get these yeezys in hand and check them out i already know they look nice in pictures so usually when they look nice in pictures they look nice in person unlike these where that you know sometimes you can't tell what they look like in picture and then like in person they're like oh no these are sick so let's go pick up our other pairs. All right, you guys, we're at mall number two. We're about to pick up these other handcrafts, which are in my size, which I might be keeping after looking at these other handcrafts. So we are looking for that finish line. And that finish line, this account that I'm picking up at is kind of slacking on the points. The last one's good to go. This one's slacking. So I need to get and build some points. So if they have something here, I'll probably pick it up. We'll see. Um, I'm kind of regretting not picking up those Jordan 3 Pine Greens. Like, I was checking out Stock X, and I was like, yeah, a little bit of profit. But I was like, I, uh, I'm i good on the points, and I don't know. I don't even know why I didn't pick them up, but I didn't. And uh, I heard that there's, like, a resale store here. So I might, like, try to run through and uh, check that out. So if I do find it, I'll probably show you guys what it's looking like. And uh, it's because, like, the other mall that I'm going to, it's, like, at least an hour drive if there's no traffic. So I'll probably jump on the maps and see how far it actually is um, once after I pick up these shoes. So let's pick these up real quick and hopefully they got something so I can build those points. You guys, I picked them up. I got them right here. I was trying to ask questions about the ones, the pan breads. And it seems like everybody's like hesitant to give me any kind of information today. Like the manager was right behind her. So I understand if like she didn't want to give me information, I guess. But like the other spots, they weren't trying to, nobody's trying to give me no info. So uh, I hope, I hope I was going to have some info, but she did say that there was no, that they didn't have any, that they didn't get stock, not even GS. How true that is, I'm not sure. At that other finish line I was at, I kind of like peeked in the back and I saw the red boxes with the, or the actually the black boxes with the red, you know, Nike swoosh, but I couldn't tell if they were like that shiny uh, pant leather or not. Well, not pant leather, but you guys know the box is shiny to match the pant uh, leather breads. The next mall actually has, it does have like Foot Locker. It has Champs. It does have another resale store that I went to that they were trying to give me uh, nothing good for the Yeezys I had last time. I believe it was the lights, the three state lights. So I'm gonna keep walking. We're gonna keep looking for it. If not, let's head on to the next mall. You guys, I found the spot, it's called Juby Drips. And uh, it looks like uh, it's a little on the small side. I think they probably need more pairs and all that good stuff. So they're probably waiting to get more pairs in there. What's crazy is like, there's like a barber shop in the back. I thought that was pretty sick. I think that uh, store has a lot of potential to grow for sure. And uh, it's cool because it's like another spot. Even though it's a resale spot, like the only other shoe store here is Finish Line. So that's cool that there is another spot. Okay, you guys, I just checked the traffic. It's looking like a one hour drive to pick up these Yeezys. 
So uh, I don't want to do it, but you guys, I got to do it. And uh, the cool thing about this finish line that's here, I talked to a girl about like if they had uh, extra Yeezys and she says they're going to let them go at 5 p.m. So I'm assuming a bunch of people is going to come line up right here. I don't know if I have time to come back and do that, hopefully, because like I'm trying to get these size 11s, but who knows. Guys, I'm here. I made it to the next mall. I just like, it was an hour drive. That's crazy because it's an hour there, hour back. And I'm like, is it even worth it? But these guys, these are like the Yeezys of the year. So you know I got to pick them up. And they're reflective. I probably would have picked them up if they weren't reflective. But now that they're reflective, it just puts it on another level. You guys, so I'm actually contemplating going back to that mall that I was at because I think I'm going to go to finish line and kind of like, uh, they told me that I could like wait in line or whatever to see like, because nobody was picking up their pairs. The girl told me that only one person had picked their pair up. And at that time, I believe it was like 1, 1 p.m. So I still got some time. I'm going to try to pick these up real quick. We're going to take a look at them, review them and everything. But like, I think that I'm just gonna like go back to that other mall and try to get my size because I don't have my size yet, you guys. So kind of sucks not having my size, but you know, I'm gonna go back. So we're going, uh, we're coming up to the mall. So let's see what they got here. Let's pick up my Yeezys and keep it rolling. Tell me these aren't the Yeezys of the year, you guys. They're the cleanest 350s I've seen in a while, and they are reflective. Let me try to bring my flashlight out real quick so you guys can see it. You know what? I don't think it shows up that good on the camera, but they are reflective, you guys. These are so sick. So I did hit up the homie No Smoke Kicks. He actually got a size 11, so I'll probably end up trading him or buying it from him. So uh, good looking out on his part. And you guys, I'm just gonna, I decided like while I was waiting in line and everything, I just decided to go back to the other finish line, the second one I went to. And you guys are doing first come first serve at five o'clock. So I'll go back over there, probably wait in line. Your boy does not like waiting in line, you guys, but for this particular shoe, I will wait in line for a little bit, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna pack up stuff. We're gonna go back, it's another hour, you guys. It's a long drive like I was contemplating you know coming or not because it's a whole hour but since they're for the personals for the wifey I had to come and pick them up so let's go to the other spot I am close to the mall I am probably just one light out and you guys it is 4 15 they said that they were gonna start releasing at 5 p.m. So hopefully I get there. Hopefully there's no line. Hopefully I'm the first one in line. If there is a line, hopefully it's a short line. We'll see how it is, but I'm starting to get like all oh, antsy and just hoping that um, I get to lock in a size 11 today. If not, an 11 and a half, size 12, some. I want something, but uh, I prefer a size 11. So we'll see if that actually happens. You guys cross your fingers for me and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, hurry up and park so that way I can get in there as fast as I can. You guys, I am highly disappointed right now. They say there is no more Yeezys. It's the same girl that was here earlier. She had like a disappointed look when I looked at her and I was like, oh, that's not good. So they ran out, like I guess everybody picked up their pair supposedly. But uh, it's looking like they're not doing the first come first serve at five o'clock. So I'm just stuck with one Yeezy, you guys. Hopefully I'm able to trade or buy that other one. But like, man, you guys, it was tough. This was a tough release. And it's because of like the profit was so good. And it's been a while since it was good profit on a 350. I thought the mono ices were gonna be good. But um, they, they still, they look, I like the way they look and everything. It's just like they could get dirty so easy. So it's like, I still have mine, but I'm probably going to sell it. But like that is, it's, it's still, it's, it's the easy of the year, you guys. It's the 350 of the year. I'm not into that many Yeezys. I'm definitely into the 350. And I will tell you guys right now that that is the easy of the year. I hope you guys like this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.